yeah we're picking it right up from here which actually if you're watching this it's probably gonna seem like a couple of days to you but it's been no time at all for me I'm gonna give this guy a little surprise yeah so this is a section those fools are not easy enemies that are little halberds or whatever but I'm gonna do this which allows me to make a dashing escape so yeah those ninjutsu techniques are pretty cool you can basically become Batman and who wouldn't want to become Batman you know that's my question Oh, this is why this is difficult, because there are fucking two of them. That's what I forgot. I have an idea, though. This game is all about getting creative. Let's use the Gaijin. Which I think is gonna work perfectly. That's called being smart, people. Like... Think I started playing yesterday? Hell no. We're looking at a Sekiro Master. Sucks for you guys. Give me your cash too. These little bitches. They don't even stand a chance. Yeah, kinda get up slower, please. See, when this game works out, like, when your plans come together, it can be beautiful. Um, like, you know, like when, I'm sure everybody here has played at least one Arkham game. When you, like, really nail, nail a section and it makes you feel like Batman. You're just, like, being a badass. That's what this game can feel like when... Like, your little planned actions all come together. The only planned action I don't remember is where the... Never mind. Never mind. You know what I was going to ask, and... There's no need to repeat it. I am going to go for... I said I would go for this, right? I think I did. Mikiris, more posture damage, hell yeah. I know I ain't exactly been like a Mikiri expert here, but... Believe me, they're gonna be important later on in the game. Oh yeah, this cliff area is full of these little fuckers. And they start bringing out the big guns. And by big guns I mean uh, they start poisoning your ass. If you're not careful here. How the hell do they have this much posture? So you just gotta be careful. See? He didn't have that much posture. And we gotta keep an eye out because this is where the white pinwheel is that we need for the bros quest line. There it is, he's doing it. God, I hate that move. It lingers too. a bit of Sabi Maru. Did you see that? That's how it works. That it didn't look that, that impressive probably, but believe me, it is. I'm not sure if this is the one. 
because there are two versions of this pinwheel and I think yeah this is not the one this is not the one we want and I think if you screw it up the other one actually disappears so we're going to hold off uh, I figured out by myself where you need to go and it's right here this little secret backdoor ass entrance whoops I thought that was supposed to aren't you supposed to get teleported back to maybe not maybe I'm wrong ignore that death please that was just a minor setback just a slight mistake you know don't even have to worry about it actually I'm kinda worried now God, what is it? That's really weird how it lags like that. Jesus, PlayStation, get your shit together. I'm sure on PS5 this doesn't do that. Got that extra processing power. What the shit was that? I think that was like a lizard or something. There it is. That's the one. Cool. So I'm like grinding for the good ending here for this guy. That's how nice I am. And I have zero clue where we are right now. Well, we're gonna figure it out. I know where we are. This leads to the bell, doesn't it? Monkey booze, nice. If you give the sculptor the monkey booze, and that's like leads to the real secret lore. And we have a secret entrance too. How the hell this works, I have no idea. Shinobi escape route. Yeah, it leads to the demon bell. But hey, there is no need to question some stuff. Oh fuck, yeah, that's the... This is after the headless, which... There's a lot of things I'm in the mood for. What I'm not in the mood for is to fight a fucking headless. So yeah, this here is the demon bell. There's even a special little idol to it. What this does is, if you ring it, it makes the game harder. Um, I don't remember exactly what it does. But I think it just makes enemies have more HP, do more posture damage, more damage in general, but eh, whatever. There's a couple of ways you can make this game harder. But I think this game's well fuck. Hate when I knock into my mic. This is why I will never run a podcast. Don't know what that has to do anything with podcasting, but whatever. Ignore my ramblings. But you know what I was gonna say is that I actually think that this game is very well balanced difficulty wise It's nice that you have the option, you know, but I feel like it's what the shit was that I feel like it's not needed All right, do we have an annoying mini boss? We have an annoying mini boss. Give me the Gokan sugar. Yeah, I think that's what we need here. Actually, this guy is not an annoying mini boss. Well, he depends. Sometimes he can be an absolute pushover. 
and sometimes he can be a gigantic fucking pain and we'll see which one he is today I think it's gonna be option number two I think the astute observer would notice some things when we kill him. There's like some lore, mega secret lore here with this guy. Please work. Please work. Roberto. I like it. <laughs> and it fucking shakes the ground. It's like when... Okay. Should, I, I can spoil. I can spoil fucking Game of Thrones at this point. Um... Cool. It's like when Lysa gets pushed out of the Eerie, except she doesn't thought like that. So he said Robert, because uh, he is Roberts, i.e. the Firecracker Roberts. I guess, I think Dad, right? And there's some lore that he's like a warrior from Europe. He just came here and some shit went down, unfortunately. That's... Mr. Sketchhead's lore summary uh, for today's episode. Very eloquently put, you know. If you want a true lore master for Sekiro, you know who to ask. So we're just gonna go here on the roof here because this is the main area of Sampo. And it's possible to pull this place off stealthily. Just not easy. These guys are like hella facing every way. Well, that's kind of part of the game, right? Or I could get immediately noticed. It's also an option. On, get up to the roof, bitch. Don't worry. I'm an expert at hiding. I'm also an expert at killing fish. Yeah, while you kind of search for me, I'm just gonna kill your fish here so don't worry about that shit that didn't exactly work out okay fighting it is more on combat style I'm guessing they're like blind as hell because only one of them noticed that I like started killing their friends. It's just how I like it. God damn it. These are these are the guys with the bombs, right? Yeah, they are. Yeah, like some homing shit here. And that's a pretty cool weapon, you gotta admit. Debatable on how effective it is, but... Because these guys are not having a good time right now. And that's putting it lightly.
You can like peek over and see him. God, man, the draw distances in this game are awesome. This game has by far the best like vistas out of any Souls game. Now I ain't talking about windows. Which I've been an unfortunate owner of Vista in my life. It was not a pleasant experience. But um yeah. No flat backgrounds here, that's for sure. There should be one more here somewhere. Oh, there he is. And there was one more. I think at least. I mean, the you got noticed asshole music kicked in. Oh, it's because of you. Potato. Little potato. Told you these guys are not having a good time. And is this where... I don't remember the areas here. There's a mini boss here somewhere. And I'm wondering if this is the area where he is located, but I don't think so. It's further on up. Oh yeah, and you can do like a mega shortcut here. Kill the big guy. God, I wish it was possible to fucking get rid of those messages. It's one of the kind of most frequent criticisms of Sekiro. That it's impossible to turn off these like messages from popping up. Whether you're on your first or your 80th playthrough. And after a while, man, does it get irritating. Okay, you can just start losing interest. I said you can thank you. Awesome. There's a couple of more enemies here, but... I think I'm just gonna go on. We're probably gonna do this section a couple of times because... This part is, I think, mad difficult. There's like some real hard hitters here, enemy-wise. What the fuck? Oh shit. What? <laughs> nice. Nice moves. Keep it up. Proud of you. But I got better moves. Man, that inside area for that temple is bothering me. I'm gonna go and check that out. There's a lot of these fuckers too. I know for a fact that the guy in the middle you cannot kill. Because uh, he's like a moron blade type enemy. Which means that he's like immortal. So no, no point in even... Oh, did he pop a sugar? That's... I meant to use Sabimaru. I accidentally switched. Okay, come on, just come here. Come on, boy. Yeah, you can you can make it. 
These guys can move, can't they? They have range too. Yep, let's grab the treasure and get out. Yeah, you can kill them later. Right now, there isn't even a point. Cool, we're back here. And this is the section. First of all, we're gonna surprise this fool. Nice. That was badass. You gotta admit, that was badass. Yeah, these guys with the fucking twin halberds. I mentioned them earlier, but listen. They are some annoying ass enemies. And there's no way to stealth them. But I think there might be a way to fight only one. I think if you pop a Gaijin... Maybe not. Because there's three of them. I have an idea. Throw it. <sighs> Didn't work out. Listen. You can say an attempt was made. And I got annihilated. Okay, so we might need to retreat a little bit here. Because that shit was not how I wanted this to go. Hey, listen, you guys want to fight honorably and do it one-to-one, -one, mano a mano? Why do you deal so much damage? Fucking third one is about to notice me. Senpai style. Can't just kill one. There we go. Ninjutsu just shit. And run like hell. I told you this wasn't easy. That was one of them. There's two more. And I... Are you fucking kidding me? I thought I lost him. I mean, they're slightly easier to fight when there's only one. Nice. He should be poisoned. Heal. The issue is I have no fucking spirit emblems left. Did he? What the fuck was that? His AI straight up just like fucking crapped out. Oh man, thanks for the second resurrection. 
See, if he didn't fall off, I would have been in a good spot. And unbelievably, there's still one left. To be fair, this one is slightly easier to kill because he's actually like patrolling. So you can do a sneaky sneak. Just like this. Bulging? Or did that say bulging? I didn't say fucking... It say it says bulging. Okay. I mean, I don't know why that's a thing of note. Whatever. What is a thing of note is that sculptor's idol right there. Okay, let's head back to the beginning of Sampo because we have a quest line to progress. I mean, progress only a little bit because we need like something completely different to fully get this shit on the road. Let's do it. I don't think I've ever managed to do this successfully. That's why I'm listening to this dialogue. This one I won't cut out because it's like new for me as well. Like the movie. Now where is that power? Google is going to be the answer. Not right now. Cool. We know what to do now. Find the divine abduction, I think that's what it's called. Um Cool. Well that's that was new. Always nice to see something. Listen, out of all the Souls games or Souls likes, this one this game probably has like the second most cryptic side quest kind of arrangement here it's absolutely insane how cryptic some of these and like very specific some of these side quests get like how the fuck are you supposed to figure some of these out i don't know i'm talking after dark souls 1 probably uh just because dark souls 1 is clunky and how it's implemented at least here the failing conditions are a little bit more lenient but man some of these are very specific and I don't know how many of them are gonna I'm gonna do. Uh, some of them are needed for the special endings, but I don't know. Listen, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here because there's actually not a lot I have to cut out from this episode because this one was fairly like smoothly action packed. So yeah, next episode we're gonna get the Moron Blade, which should be fun. Moron Blade is always good. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Sekiro. Episode 8 or 9 we're up to. I think this is 9. Uh, and we are making good progress. So, as always, if you did enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And I'll catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.